Hello, this is Mike Lee Gipper and this is my day 8 video diary. I've decided to go for a screencast today because I've not been doing very th anything very exciting apart from sitting at um, a desk in a kitchen in a Soviet-built high-rise estate in Kaunas in Lithuania. Um, there's not very many photos to share about that. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the process I've been going through. So obviously this is the Relay website, uh, Webgate. Um, Europa.eu, um, I'm signed in the back end so ignore all this stuff. Um, Europa.eu, and there's the relay, and I'm report number 16. So every day I've been doing a blog, some days I've been doing handheld, some days I've been doing a montage, stuff like this. I'm just about to upload the report for day 8, so I've got a title, location, language, summary, got some tags I've got to select like this. I uh, don't know what the info URL is, URL, attach something if I want to. Uh, I've got some images and a video, which hopefully this will be on, uh, but it only supports YouTube. So I'll have to figure out how to get it off screener onto YouTube. And I'm recording this via screener.com, which is just here. So here's the software I've been using. It's called Final Cut Pro. And at the moment I'm rendering something. Um, got this clip here with... Uh, guy called Ryan, I've got some effects here, I've got colour correction and something called aged film, some of them have got a few other filters like the vignette, um, there's there's a preset called richer which adds certain colours um, and I'll just show you what that does, so this is the original footage that we have right here, so standard sort of thing, um, sky is quite, quite bright but there you go, um, Hopefully it's not too bad. Obviously the computer reckons we're overexposed in a few places here, but that's the idea. You're going to get some some bits there that you can't avoid where it's going to be uh, very highly exposed. So um, these are some of the effects I've got here. On so I've got a vignette which adds a bit of a blur around the edge and some black dark areas, some darker areas around those too. And I've got this color tone called richer, and then I've got something called film blur. Sorry, film age, and there uh, that gives it a kind of green tone. Um, on some of the other clips, I've actually adjusted the colour correction myself. So I've given this like a blue tinge, and uh, not very much contrast. A little bit, little bit, bit of the dark areas have been lost. Just having a play here. I'm not referencing any particular type of film or style or footage, although this does remind me of like 1960s film, things like that. Um, stills mostly. Um, so we've also got Esther. And, and um, she's Spanish, she's very animated. I really uh, love Lithuanian people because very they are really open. Lithuanian people are... We've got some audio underneath here. This is Creative Commons from a website called gemendo.com where you can download things under the Creative Commons license and at the end usually it says it gives you a link to a URL and you just have to reference the artist. Um, and just so people know who wrote the music. So, <clears throat> finally we've got Irene, and she is in black and white, so that's another bit of a play. It's, uh, it's interesting with this camera actually, it's very expensive, it's worth about four grand, uh, three grand, although I do, I have noticed there's a lot of grain um, in areas, and obviously that would be due to me having gain switched on, um, which I don't think I did. Um, but anyway, it's quite interesting to see that sort of grain which appears to have gone now, I've rendered it, but anyway, could be a, a preview playback setting. So my setting for the, my sort of a pro plate setting, a bit. for this process, my um, workflow has been basically to import a full, a full um, interview, so it goes in like this, um, I'll, I'll watch it back, and when I see a question, I'll put a blade in there, I'll separate it, um, Separate it. I'll copy and paste this. I'll put that in there as well. This gives me a question, and then eventually I've got a list of questions going along here like this. Um, then I'll take the good bits. I'll drag them down here. You, I'll usually have more than I need, and then I'll just trim it down till it gets to the one minute length here. And that's it. I've got ten seconds left, so uh, nothing else to say. Just please, you know, check out the blogs, have a look, enjoy, tweet me if you want, Mike Lee Keeper. Thanks very much.